Hi, so I'm going to take a look at this as you asked me to and see. I opened task 240 and this is what I see, which does not look too bad to me. This is fine as far as an offset goes, it's okay. I don't know what tool you use for validation. You should be using JOSM, in which case the thing to do is adjust the background imagery. And we're only using one background imagery layer, so I don't get a choice. But once you click that button, you can do this in the ID editor too. Over on the far right, there's three sheets. And if you click on that, you'll get a, a pop-out menu. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, it'll say adjust imagery. And you won't get a dialog box, but you'll get a little gray donut that you can drag around in and it'll work exactly like this is working. So I got my adjust imagery setting up here. And then you just drag and adjust, always adjust the background imagery to the existing mapping and get it as close as you can. That looks pretty good to me. So it was offset about three meters by three meters, which is not too bad, at least in this little area. It could very well be different someplace else, but if it's off just that much, it's fine. And then, for example, whoops, goodness. For example, I saw they missed a building here, so I would add in this building too if it were me. That looks like a building to me. Yeah, maybe not. I take that back. I don't think that's a building. Um, it might be. Okay, so over here you can see now the image alignment is off over here, um, even though it's lined up up there. And that's okay too. If you were going to be fixing things, just realign it. Go back to your over here or come back up here and just realign it. So it may very well be off in different places, and that's totally fine. Just get it aligned where you're about to do some fixing and, and carry on with, with what, so the imagery is aligned with, with locally what you're about to map. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.